There are so many different tools that you can use inside of photo editing, especially in Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile. So many things that you can do to adjust the look and feel of the image. My absolute favorite are the HSL sliders to manipulate your color in your photos. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use these sliders, what they do, and explain it so that way you'll be able to start editing all of your colors like a pro. So let's get into it. Hey, if we haven't met before, my name is Zach Sopak. I make a lot of videos about making videos, taking photos, editing those things, and delivering them out into the world. If you're interested in any kind of content like that, please consider subscribing to this channel. Now, as I mentioned before, there are a ton of awesome tools to help you manipulate your colors inside of Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile, but by far, the HSL sliders are my favorite to use when I'm editing my colors in my photos. These sliders really are the best way to shift the colors around in your image and give it more of a customized, stylized look. You can shift things from warmer tones to cooler tones, vice versa. You can desaturate certain things while not touching other areas of your image. It's a really cool process. So I got a photo loaded up inside of Lightroom Mobile. The way to find your HSL sliders is to go to the color tab hit that, and then you're going to hit this color wheel looking thing with the word mix next to it. Once you hit that, you are now met with all the colors of the rainbow and each color gets its own hue, saturation, and luminance slider, which if you've been following along, you know that that stands for HSL. Now, before I hop into editing this photo, I wanna first explain what these three terms mean, because if you're new to all of this in photo editing, it could be a little confusing confusing and trying to understand what each slider does. Let's first start with hue. Now hue is basically the main property of whatever color you have. So if you have red, then your hue is red. If you have blue, then your hue is blue. And when we're messing with something like Lightroom, we have that hue slider. You'll notice that in the center, in this example is red. And as you go towards the left, it's more of a pinkish magenta color. As you go towards the right, you have an orange color. So when we use a hue slider, we're actually shifting that color's overall value and character to something just to the right or to the left of it. To explain it further, I'll show you in this example, I'm wearing sort of a reddish coral uh, hoodie. And what I want to do is I want to shift that more towards the pink tones to see what that looks like. So as I grab my hue slider, move it towards the left, you'll notice that now it's more pink. If I wanted to move it more towards the orange side, I could shift it over. And you can see this change is happening inside of those red tones because we've got our red color selected and now we're shifting the hue towards one side or the other. Let me show you one other example of hue because it's really, really fun to do. So I'm gonna go over now to my blue and I'm gonna move this slider to the right. And now we see the sky went from blue to purple, but I actually want it to be a bit more teal so it matches with that lifeguard station. So as I move it towards the left, now it's more Okay, the next slider is saturation. And basically think of saturation like a giant knob where you can turn up the intensity of a specific color or you could turn it way down if you want it to be more subdued and muted. And to give you an example of how saturation works, let's mess with our sky a little bit more. So we're still on our blue channel and I wanna subdue that sky a bit more. So I'm going to take my saturation slider and I'm going to bring it down. So that way it's not as intense and it's not so unnatural looking. However, if I did find myself wanting to have more of that color and really turn up the intensity of the sky, I could go the opposite direction with saturation. So let me show you that. And now things are, things are nuclear. That is, if you see a sky like that, maybe get your eyes checked because that is that is very intense our final slider is luminance now luminance is basically how bright or how dark a color 
is. So the luminance slider allows you to darken certain colors or make them brighter depending on whatever it is you're trying to do. Now I'm gonna give you an example of one of the little tricks that I like to do with photos with people in them in that I like to manipulate how bright or how dark the skin tones are depending on the environment. And the best way to do this is to go to your orange channel because if you didn't know, basically all skin tones lie within an orange channel. So this is the one that you're gonna wanna use to really pull off this effect. So you'll notice as I go down on the luminance slider, my skin is getting very dark and now I'm looking like I'm very tan and I've been in the sun for more time than I've been alive. <laughs> but as I move that luminance slider towards the right, you'll notice things are getting much brighter with my skin until the point where I can make it even look blown out. So find your happy medium, get it as bright or as dark as you want it to be. So that way it's nice and set. And try this with other colors too. I love doing this a lot, again, with like greens and blues. I like to darken them a bit so that way they don't stand out too much in the image if my attention is elsewhere. It's really an effective way to get more of that signature look with your editing. But I'm curious to know, how do you use the HSL sliders? What's your go-to method? Is there something that you learned here? Is there something that I left out? Why don't you let me know in the comments down below? And hey, if you're interested in learning more about photo editing or how to use Lightroom, I've got a really helpful playlist I'm gonna link up above and down below that'll really help you get started from not knowing anything to editing like a pro. And hey, if you got value out of this video, why don't you go ahead and add some value right back to it by hitting that like button and also subscribe to this channel for more regular content just like this. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you never miss out anytime I post a new video. So get out there, take some photos, edit them with those HSL sliders. And until the next time, my name is Zach Sopak. I'll see you in the next video.